way to the Teacher's Welcome to this Thursday edition of Tiger Cub TV. My name is Allie. And my name is Amy. Today is Thursday, October 29th. This is Healthy Living Week. Here's a quick word for you about the importance of sleep. This week is Healthy Living Week. Sleep is an important part to healthy living. Your brain needs sleep so you can remember what you learn. Pay attention and concentrate. Solve problems and think of new ideas. Your body needs sleep so your muscles, bones, and skin can grow. Muscle, skin, and other parts can fight injuries. Bodies can stay healthy and fight sickness. Let's go to Owen for sports and weather. Good morning, AC. I'm Owen, and I'll be bringing you the latest in weather and sports today. You can expect rain today with a high of 75 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. Now for the latest in sports. Friday night is a school night at Auburn High School football game. Be sure to wear your future Tiger t-shirt to get into the game for free. Don't forget to join your friends from school on the sidelines to cheer the Tigers on. Our Auburn T High Tigers will be playing the mop. Let's go out to in out and support our Tigers. Auburn University Tigers will be playing Ole Miss on Saturday at 11 o'clock in Jordan Hare Stadium. War Eagle, that's all for now. Back to you announcers. Thank you, Owen. Remember habit number three, putting first, snakes first. Here's a short clip for you. Now let's go back to Owen for our lunch menu. I'm back to bring you the latest from the AEC Tiger Cub Cafe. Today for lunch we'll be having chicken and waffles, sweet potato fries, and fresh fruit or a taco salad box. Sounds delicious. Back to you announcers. Thanks, Owen. Those lunches sound delicious. Our lunch ladies make a great lunch. The book fair will be here in two days. Here's another sneak, sneak peek from one of the authors. Hi, I'm Dan Santat, author and illustrator of The Adventures of Beekle, The Unimaginary Friend. Do you have an imaginary friend? Most of us do. I came to the Waverly School to meet some of them. Hello kids, it's a pleasure to be here today. Question for you all, how many of you, show of hands, have an imaginary friend? That's wonderful. When I was a kid, I had my own imaginary friend, and he was this little chicken named Mr. Pickles. <laughs> Who is your imaginary friend? My imaginary friend is a mountain lion. His name is Bill. He wears a red bow tie, and we play basketball together. My imaginary friend is a red panda. His name is Steve. Me and Steve like to play all sorts of games together, whether it's tag, baseball, or soccer. My imaginary friend is a marshmallow that has hot fudge, and his name is Yummy. I like to bounce on his tummy. As you can see, imaginary friends come in all different shapes and sizes. In my book, Beekle, imaginary friends live on an island waiting to be imagined by children. Beekle can't be imagined by any child, so he sets off on a journey to find a child who can be his friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights, but his turn never came. So, rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. Are you looking for an imaginary friend? Beekle might be looking for you. You can find him at the Scholastic Book Fair. Let's take a look what, at 
what's cool at our school. Our <coughs> kindergartens, kindergartners went on a field trip to the pumpkin patch. Here are some pictures to highlight their trip. Looks like fun. Claire from the Sin Claire Hendrickson from Miss Cleodis's class is our guest pledge announcer. Please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the moment of silence. Stand salute pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republics for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible for liberty and justice for all. for joining us, us on this Thursday edition of Tiger Cup TV. We hope you have a thermal Thursday and we'll see you again tomorrow.